Hey there, golfers. I'm Drew Mahol, the Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, a master club fitter here at Second Swing. Today we've got a bit of a different test. Um, we're going to be testing out the weight of iron golf shafts. Uh, Thomas has four different weights of shafts here in his hand. We're going to test all four of them against one another and see how much of a difference it makes. So Thomas, give us a rundown first on the four different weights uh, that you have right there and what you'd expect from them. So we're going to be testing a range from the 70 gram category, which is graphite, all the way up to the 130 gram category, which is a heavy steel golf shaft. So the four golf shafts I'm going to be hitting is the Ping Ulta CB regular golf shaft, that is the graphite option, the KBS Tour 90 golf shaft, the KBS Tour C Taper Lite 110, and then the Dynamic Gold X100 Tour issue golf shaft. So what would you expect then out of each of these shafts, just briefly, you know, from the, I guess the lighter end of the spectrum to the heavier end of the spectrum, what would you expect the performance differences to be? I would expect that the lighter end of the spectrum, the ball will launch a little higher, spin a little bit more, and maybe be a little bit harder to control. Where at the mm -hmm. heavier end of the, end of the spectrum, I'd expect a little bit less spin, maybe a little bit better control, and a little lower ball flight. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna have Thomas just go right ahead and hit 16 shots, four with each shaft, and then we'll come back and we'll see what we find out from this test. Uh, a couple things before we get started here. Uh, number one, uh, if you haven't yet, subscribe to our channel, and give this video a like as well. Uh, we're really trying to grow that channel. We appreciate uh, everybody joining in and joining the community as well. And then of course, number two, uh, we do have some construction going on and so we uh, bear with us here as we try to uh, power through that if you will. So let's get after it here Thomas. Sounds good. You are hitting this one extremely high. <laughs> it is, isn't it? It's, it feels pretty easy to hit. Over 130 feet in the air. Oof. That might be a little right. All right, so Thomas, you just hit 16 shots. Um, I'm seeing the circles here right away and I already kind of see some takeaways to discuss here, but um, what are you looking at from these numbers and what's the big takeaway? Biggest takeaway is, as you mentioned, you're seeing that circle, is the dispersion pattern. Mm -hmm. With the golf shaft that fits my swing speed, I was able to hit the ball straighter. So we're looking at that small purple circle. Yep. That was the 130 gram, uh, that was the True Tamper Dynamic Gold X100 yep. golf shaft. When we look at the lightest golf shaft, the yellow circle, that was that graphite golf shaft, notice how it's a little bit shorter and a little to the right. So let's touch on club speed and let's actually talk about all the numbers as uh, what we're seeing here and see if there's any yeah. general trends that we're noticing. So club speed, with the three uh, steel golf shafts, my club speed was hovering right around about 89 miles an hour. We'll notice that the two heaviest golf shafts, the 130 and the 110, were right around about 89. Yep. The 90 gram, so a little bit lighter golf shaft, was 89.8, so it was a little bit more club speed I was able to generate. And then we've got this graphite golf shaft, which I was able to generate 91.7. Mm -hmm. So those players looking for a little extra help with regards to club speed, maybe they've lost some club speed over time and yeah. can't get the ball up in the air as much. Graphite shaft is definitely a good option yeah. there too. I had a hard time because I have a lot of club speed and I just left it to the right yeah. all day because I have a relatively quick transition in my golf swing. That yeah. golf shaft never had a chance to catch up. 
if we were gonna look here at both speed and smash factor, you'll notice they're all you know plus or minus two miles an hour essentially. There's not too much of a difference between them all. The smash factor is 143 to 145. We'll notice the efficiency rating with 110 and 130 gram golf shafts were the highest, 1.45 versus 143. So I was hitting it more efficiently with yeah. the heavier golf shaft. Uh, if we look at spin, the lightest golf shaft had the highest amount of spin, but it also had the highest amount of consistency as well. So it was the least consistent golf shaft of them all with regards to spin consistency. If we look at the heaviest golf shaft, 130 gram, the spin consistency was the lowest of all four that we hit there too. So plus or minus 147, that was the lowest of all four golf mm -hmm. shafts there too. So with the 70 gram graphite shaft, my spin rate was 6,400. With the steel golf shafts, my range was from about 5730 up to about 5941. So that was more in an optimal spin for my particular yeah. golf swing there as well. Carry distance, really interesting how the carry distance was pretty similar yeah. with all of them on, on average. Yeah. Now one thing to, to know, this is a very controlled environment, right? Yep. So we get out into some wind or something where maybe get extra 500 RPM spin with the really light shaft and that's where things can maybe get different, but in a controlled environment with no wind, very similar. Yeah, in a controlled environment, yes, very, very similar. The height was definitely different between them. Um, you talked about if you're outside and you hit a high yeah. shot with the graphite shaft, notice the height was higher, 129 feet in the air, and the other steel golf shafts were a little bit lower as mm -hmm. we kind of trend. Not quite the perfect trend, was noticed the 110 gram shaft actually flew the lowest of them all, but the general trend is the heavier the golf shaft, the lower it's going to fly, yeah. the lower it's going to spin, the lighter the golf shaft, the higher it's going to fly, the yeah. higher it's going to spin there as well. The one thing I found really interesting here is curve. So players know that I like to hit a little bit of a drawer in my golf game. So we'll notice all steel golf shafts, we'll take a look here at the 130 gram, so the heaviest, that had the most amount of curve to the left for me. Mm -hmm. That's eight feet of curve. That's pretty much spot on to how I like to play about a 10 feet curve right to yeah. left shot with my irons. If we look at the other end of the spectrum, the 70 gram graphite shaft actually curved to the right. So I had a hard time getting that club mm -hmm. face to turn over and square up at impact yeah. there as well. So really interesting to see how that trends from the lighter golf shaft, had the least amount of curve to the left for me, and the heavier golf shaft did what I wanted to do. Yeah. So that was definitely a good comparison there as well. Finally, if we look at face angle, my face was open the most with the lighter golf shaft, so 3.8 degrees open, mm -hmm. and it was the least amount open with the heaviest golf shaft, 130. So definitely fit my game better for me, but it's important to make sure that you get custom fit and get fit correctly for your type of golf swing in your game. Right, and I mean, this is as controlled as it gets, right? Thomas Campbell's swing is super repeatable for one, and then two, you know, we're hitting the same golf club head. This is a Ping I-210 seven iron, and just the only difference was the shaft. Uh, and we changed it up, and, and you can see that does change quite a bit. You know, the it changes how the club is delivered to the golf ball at impact. Uh, clearly, you know, now, I don't think there's any world that you would be playing a 70 gram uh, graphite shafts in a serious manner with a straight face but um, that's in this test we did that and you can see the difference where you actually had the club face open and the ball is curving to the right which was very different than the other three shafts that you hit yeah so I've had I've been lucky enough that I've been able to test a lot of golf equipment here first off a lot of the times I may get sent the golf shaft that has a graphite shaft in mm -hmm. it so I'm able to make make up for it with my with my golf swing and understand how I've got to get that yeah. club face kind of square but in a controlled environment, it's important to get fit for your swing tendencies. That's kind of the yep. most important thing here as well. Right, yep. We always say that, you know, beside, right after the club head, the next most important part of getting fit is the golf shaft. And so in this test, hopefully we are able to show golfers out there that the iron shaft that you pick for your irons does matter and does matter quite a bit because look at these dispersion circles behind me. You can see that purple one's probably the one that you want. And so that's going to be a little bit different maybe. You know, maybe you don't swing as fast as Thomas, but clearly the shaft matters. So. Make sure you schedule a fitting uh, with our experts in the Second Swing Tour Van and get your irons dialed in. Thanks, Thomas. Yep, no problem.